Dude, I had it going. Are we gonna see it in the kill camp? Are we gonna see it? Yes! Dude, I'm about to show you guys something so broken in Modern Warfare 2. There is a new movement technique that has been discovered called dolphin hopping. You've heard of jump shotting, you've heard of slide canceling. Well, have you ever seen a dolphin hop? I'm gonna try it out for the first time. I have not done this yet. Oh, wait, I messed it up. I have a button here, so that way hopefully he can see it. This is gonna take some practice. What the? Maybe you can- I don't think you can tack sprint into it. This is actually hard. This is a new one for me. Don't judge me. Oh, I, I think I just did it right there. Can I do it on this side? You can! Bro, please kill me. Please kill me. I gotta see that. I don't know if the bot's gonna be able to see me doing the whole thing. Oh my, you could kind of see it. So yeah, let me explain this whole dolphin hopping thing. I'm, I'm lagging in a private match. Th that's happening right now. Anyway, all you have to do is dolphin dive to the edge of a ledge, kind of like right here. You want your body to try to hit this part of any ledge, no matter where you try to do this. I'm just using this section as an example. So you sprint, you dolphin dive, and then jump as you hit the ledge, and you get that little bit of extra movement. I actually kind of just nailed it perfectly right there. Now, I don't necessarily know if this works with tack sprinting, and if you have the knife out, you're gonna move pretty fast. But if you're going at like the fastest possible movement speed in the game, then you might go even further. Now, if you're wondering why would you ever want to do this, there's a couple reasons why. The first reason is that it looks hilariously stupid. <laughs> From other people's perspective, your character is like diving but then hopping midair and then kind of like going back into a dive It just like glitches out the animations. It looks so dumb But it's just great and the second reason you would do this is actually more or less for a competitive advantage I mean, it's a movement technique similar to G sliding and black ops 3 slide canceling all that kind of stuff I mean, it's going to be exploited. It's gonna be used I'm sure in a competitive way You'll probably see this in more high-level play Maybe not so much in pubs unless of course your skill based matchmaking is through the roof and you're playing against like absolute sweats Then yeah, you might see this. I mean if you're playing lower skill lobbies then yeah, you probably will never see this. But yeah, man, this whole dolphin hopping thing, it could be exploited to get some cheap kills. But it also does serve a third purpose, which is actually just having fun with the movement in the game. If you want to try to use this movement to get to spots that you otherwise would not be able to get to, you can do that as well. You could see me do it in the kill. Dude, I was flying. Not fast enough to actually make that, but yeah. You can essentially use dolphin hopping as an alternate to strafe jumping, which is an alternative to kind of like swinging yourself in midair. Strafe jumping has been in previous Call of Duty games, but the values are always different. It was super prevalent in COD 4 and you could use strafe jumping to like, you know, do stuff like that, except to actually get to the window. I'm messing up. But if you've done this kind of stuff before, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Dolphin hopping, dude. We, we've seen it all. I mean, I'm gonna try to use this online. We'll see how it goes. I am pretty certain that this is not gonna be the easiest thing to pull off, and it is situational, and it's actually kind of hard to do. But we're gonna go for it. I got the Victus XMR gold recently, so maybe we could try to hit some shots with it. Who knows? I'm just gonna quick play so we get whatever kind of map. But guys, we gotta sit down. We gotta have a serious talk, because I was supposed to make a unlocking gold camo for every gun video on Modern Warfare 2, and as I'm sure you guys could tell from the uploads, I've been completely distracted with the first season of content for this game. There's so much to cover, so much to talk about. So I think in this video, I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to unlock the last gold gun that I need in Modern Warfare 2. It's the Raw MG. Purposely just saved one more challenge and we will have gold camo for every single gun in the game. I do have a ton of awesome highlights and clips from unlocking gold camo in this game, but I think I'm just going to upload it to Nerd Place. You can subscribe to Nerd Place and I'll have the gold camo highlights on that channel. The whole reason I said we need to sit down and have a talk is because it's actually Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, dude. I ruined my sleep schedule for the game. I'm hooked on it. It's actually a really good game so far. Oh my lord, just one more, please. Don't shoot me. I'm shot in the back, of course. But yeah, dude, I've been playing the shit out of it. I really enjoy the game so far. As far as it goes for making content on it, I really don't know what I would do. So that probably won't happen. You don't need to worry about me becoming a Pokemon channel. Although I've made Pokemon videos in the past. Like, I guess Pokemon Go. But even as I'm sitting down recording this video, like, I want to play the game right now. I don't necessarily feel compelled to make videos on it, but I just, for my own personal enjoyment, I really enjoy the game. But yeah, let's get this gold camo, please. Not gonna make this one easy, are you? Well, I am using a silenced LMG with fire rounds like an ass, so I don't really care. Okay, maybe I do. This lobby is such... Yo, I don't know what it is, but whenever I play on PC, the first lobby I always play is guaranteed to be fucking horrible. Look at this man. He's He's got the survivor. He's gonna ruin it. Dude, you're getting the ass cheeks. Eat him. How's that Captain Price sandwich tasting? You know, in the beta for this game, I thought the survivor perk was funny, but now that we have camo challenges and survivor messes with the camo challenge unlocks, I'm like, yeah. Kind of despise it now. Hold it together. Dude, you're jump shotting all over the place too, and you have survivor. Desperate much? Dude, it's one challenge. This game is actually about to end. Where even the f I can't even get a shot off. What is this lobby? What is it? Everyone's just instantly headshotting me. One more. 
There it is. Are we done? Are we good? Yes. Gold for every gun. Woohoo! I should have probably had this video out like a week ago. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna do it for gold camo on here. Now I can try the goofy little diving thing. Oh, never mind. Cool lobby. That was great. Definitely a high skill based matchmaking lobby. No one's doing the dolphin hop. We gotta get the word out there. Cause see, I went 17 to 34, but if these guys were doing the dolphin hop, I probably wouldn't have gotten any kills. The platinum grind's going pretty good so far. I just started and I already have 10 guns done. But yo, we gotta have a talk about platinum camo. Like, I was waiting for Shoot House to come out to really start grinding for the platinum camo and all that. Because for pretty much every single gun in the game, to get platinum camo, you just have to get long shots. So Shoot House should be the perfect map, right? Not really, no. Cause see, the biggest difference between modern Modern Warfare 2019 and Modern Warfare 2 as far as it goes for going for long shots and camos and all that is that in Modern Warfare 2019 when you would be going for long shots you would be going for them a lot earlier in the camo grind versus now you're probably not going to go for long shots and care about platinum camo until you have gold for every single gun which does take some time I think I already have about four days of in-game play time now granted not all of that has been camo grinding you can't look at your combat record while it's matchmaking cool dude it's a 1v5 nice but yeah in my opinion even border crossing is like a better long shot map I mean, is that- there you go, there's a long shot. I'm not even trying to go for long shots with this gun quite yet, but I guess we'll do it. Because you can just sit back on any one of these cars and just pick people off at range. See, there's another one. What I don't understand is why these lobbies are so sweaty. Now that I'm on the platinum camo grind, I'm spending most of my matches just sitting in the back, not playing the objective, being a horrible teammate, but I'm getting my long shots done, slowly but surely. It just doesn't happen on shoot house right now for me because a lot of people aren't really going for platinum camo. They don't care about long shots. So they have no reason to just keep funneling up the middle over and over and over again on shoot house like they would before. I'm gonna take off the sweatier modes. We're just gonna go to TDM. Maybe even free for all. I just, I don't care. You know, I don't really feel like going in depth about how to go about getting gold camo for every gun in Modern Warfare 2 because it really isn't that hard. If you have enough time to pour into going for the camo challenges, it's pretty straightforward. I do feel like in Modern Warfare 2 though, the gold camo grind is kind of the most tedious and the most time consuming, mostly because you have to spend most of your time leveling up your weapons. So the best advice I can give you for trying to level up your weapons in Modern Warfare 2 as fast as you possibly can is actually to play Warzone. I don't know if this is always gonna be the case, but right now, if you do like intel or recon contracts you can get any gun in this game from level zero to the max level in like one or two contracts it's actually insane i don't know if that's intentional or if it's a glitch or not but i think currently that is hands down the fastest way to level up your guns now i didn't get to do any of that because we didn't have warzone 2 at launch so rip to everyone who was going for gold camo from the beginning we had to put a lot of time and effort into leveling up our guns i think dmz is also a very viable option for just kind of chilling and leveling up your guns and as far as it goes for a regular multiplayer though i would recommend hardpoint and kill confirm simply just playing the objective in hardpoint can get you a lot of weapon XP and playing the objective super hard and kill confirmed just going for as many tags as possible I mean yeah probably the best bet probably even better than hard point <laughs> I definitely just did it right there I want someone to see it I want someone to appreciate how stupid this is gonna look ideally we could get all Bagra because there's a lot of opportunity to do this technique on that map free what? Dude, the game has been freezing so much. The Warzone effect. Yeah, so for some reason my game just completely froze and stopped the recording. That's awesome. I have no clue why. We'll just go to Shoot House. It'll be a little bit more fast paced and I can probably try to pull this technique off some more. I'm really curious to see if Infinity Ward is going to try to patch this as fast as possible or if it doesn't really matter or maybe there's not even a way to fix it. I really do wonder how they're going to approach this move and exploit. Like, how do you even patch something like this? We're just dolphin diving off of a ledge and then shooting. That would have been insane if I hit someone. User one. <laughs> cool name. Dude's got a Merc clan tag. Represent. Okay, we're gonna hit this guy. He's right here. I missed. I actually missed. I kinda hit a trick shot. <laughs> Can you see it? I, okay, I didn't really do it. I like kind of did it, but not really. You'll feel it. Like you have like a little bit of a bounce. And obviously if you've done it right, the enemies will see it. Ooh. I actually just did it, but no one's actually looking at me. Like, we can't see it happen in a kill cam quite yet. That's the one thing I will say about doing the dolphin hopping is that it's pretty inconsistent. Like, after you dolphin dive, you're kind of just spam clicking jump hoping that it's gonna happen. You'll get caught on the ledge in all kinds of weird ways, and it just sometimes won't work at all. Pretty much like nine times out of ten, it's not going to, like, work great. It's definitely something you could practice and try to get better at, but I don't know if it's worth investing that much time into because it could get patched. Yeah, so if you want to do this one on shoot house, just line yourself up right here, and basically the second you start sprinting, Dive and then spam jump. I messed it up and I'm gonna be dead for the headquarters. Oh my. I resisted the urge to rage quit, but I mean, you guys can see how this game's going. Going great! Whoo, nice little collat. I missed because I suck and I'm done.
<laughs> I do like the additional dialogue that they have in the game. Pretty sure that's new since season one. Like the characters are talking a lot more. Name all Mr. Noise Price. There is someone there. Oh god, they're okay, they're there, they're there. Dude, I had it going. Are we gonna see it in the kill cam? Are we gonna see it? You can see me bounce midair. That was awesome. That is exactly what I'm talking about. That's what we've been waiting for. Bro, Tarak has been coming in clutch lately. This map might not actually be horrible. I had my doubts, but for going on long streaks, long shots, and I guess now dolphin hopping, it's not bad. I thought this was going to be like the stone haven of the game, but now it's already kind of underrated. We got to see it. El Diablo, please tell me you were ADS the whole time. I got to see it. I got to see it. Did I do it? You, you could kind of see it. it was, that was a little bit harder. That other dolphin hop, though, was hilarious. Since I am done going for gold camo for every gun, even the season one weapons, I'm definitely just going to be trying to have more fun with the game and chill. Not going to lie, if you want to progress through gold, you do kind of have to be sweating it up a lot. I'm ready to just have fun with the game, you know? Maybe branch out a little bit more, do some DMZ in Warzone 2. Obviously, still going to be camo grinding, but I feel like I can take it a little bit more easy now. Long shots don't really require you to sweat. You just have to sit in the back with the most accurate build of a gun and, you know, do your thing. Now, if you want to maximize it, I would recommend shoot house. Not really. Really though. Shoot house long shots really won't work until more people are, are on the platinum grind. That or if we actually had shoot house 24-7 with a decent hardcore mode. Because I mean you can't tell if you're getting long shots in tier one, so what's the point? Oh my how did that cruise missile get no one? Whoa! Dude, that shot was so close! It was actually so close. I'm actually really curious to know if anyone's gonna be trying to do like dolphin hopping trick shots. Literally not enough time to do it there, but. This guy was trying it. El Diablo is like trying to do what I'm doing. I don't know if he knows how to do it. I'm actually really curious at this point if he watched the kill cam and now he's like trying to figure it out. And he's trying to do it. Definitely curious to hear from you guys. Do you think that dolphin hopping is going to break or ruin the game? Or do you think it's actually going to add some more variety and depth to the game and actually just be fun? I don't see a lot of people necessarily trying to do this. So I don't think it's going to break the game. It is a movement exploit though. And I do fully expect it to get fixed by Infinity Ward. Hopefully I don't get caught timing on this video and Infinity Ward patch it by the time I upload this video. But you know, this whole dolphin hopping thing, it's just kind of goofy. It's not quite like G sliding in Black Ops 3 where you can do it all the time anywhere on the map. It's just this weird little quirk that you can do at certain sections of the map. It'll lead to some cheap and weird looking kills for sure. But one thing I do want to say about this whole dolphin hopping movement technique is that you might want to do it now. Regardless of how you feel about it, it's probably going to get patched. And if it gets patched, you'll never be able to try it or do it again. So yeah, I would recommend just going out, trying it out, have some fun. If you don't want to, that's fine too. No one's going to force you. Your character will either like stay in the dive position and then just sort of bounce midair, but sometimes they'll also be in the dive position and then just stand up straight and then go back down to the dive it's so funny lost by two kills god i wonder whose fault that was but yeah dolphin hopping is gonna be the new thing to do you're probably gonna see it online more Whew, that was a really good one i want to keep working on it like i want to actually get really good at it honestly i don't know if we've ever been able to do anything like this in like black ops 1 or black ops 2 where we first had dolphin diving but i thought it was pretty cool and i thought i'd show you guys so with that being said thank you guys very much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed watching me show off the new dolphin hopping technique on modern warfare 2 if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more modern warfare 2 stuff make sure to drop a like i'll see you guys later Oh. Hello there. No. Bro, he's here again. What is he doing?